I, th I think uh, all of your listeners have probably seen multiple indications that there, there's public fraud in New Mexico. We all know it exists. We've seen, you know, just going back a few years ago, the courthouse scandal where people are inflating uh, invoices on work done and skimming money. Uh, we've had allegations in one of our counties that the county manager was shuffling uh, public money to a favored contractor. We've had schools where uh, there's double dealing between, uh, you know, the school and entities that, that maybe the money is, is winding up back in uh, people's pockets that's not visible to the, the public. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on. The problem we have, though, is whistleblowers oftentimes are reluctant to come forward because uh, they're afraid of retaliation, losing their job, whatever. The Fraud Against Taxpayers Act we enacted about oh, a decade ago meant was meant to allow people who had knowledge that there might be some fraudulent activity going on in a public entity to come forward and if in fact there was fraud they could recover part of the recovery that the state made would would be the reward for them for for being honest and coming forward the problem is our act wasn't clear that this applied all the way down to the local and the school level the, the act itself talks about state agencies so this makes it very clear that anybody does business with the state who uses state money, including local governments and schools, now will be covered under the Fraud Against Taxpayers Act, and we will reward anyone who has knowledge of fraudulent activity if we can improve it in court and make a recovery of funds.